Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we got something a little bit different. Um, doing a little, trying to do a little handiwork around the house. Um, our washing machine has become a nuisance and it's very loud and it's, uh, it's just, I'm afraid it's gonna just walk out of the house. And uh, everything I've read, this is an agitator, not me, this is. Um, this is the agitator out of the washing machine and here is a coupling that attaches it to the tub and today we're going to change this out. This is for a GE Adora washing machine. It's just a standard everyday run-of-the-mill washing machine but uh, this same thing could happen to anybody's washing machine, any model, make, whatever and uh, I'm going to show you how to do this on a GE but I think the Kenmore and Whirlpools and I'll attach the same way and uh, some of them actually have a nut, some of them just pull off. But um, anyway, let's move in here to the washing machine and we'll, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here's our GE Adora washing machine, just standard top load. You know, still has 29 buttons on it, but um, pretty good old washing machine. I'm going to move you right over here. And the first thing you do when you work on an appliance, you unplug it. Now, since I'm not working with the water valves or any of that stuff, uh, we won't worry about shutting off the water, moving drain line, moving it out. Okay. So that little fabric softener cup comes out. I'm just going to take it out. So okay some of the agitators have a nut that will go in here and you have to get it out with a, a long socket or anything. This one actually has little fingers here that attach to this coupling or I think it's called a coupling nut. Damn. You stay over there. Agitator coupling. So I got, st I got GE parts. So, all right, let me turn my other camera on. Okay, it's on. Go ahead and start it recording. And hopefully we can do this without hurting ourselves. Okay. All right, so what you do, you reach down in there with your hands, with your fingers like this, and you just pop it up. And if that doesn't work, you would put a strap or a belt or something like that under it. But, uh, anyway, and you can see this is loose. It's got some slack in it, so it shouldn't. There we go. All right, it came right out. I'll set it to the side. We're going to take a wrench. So what size this is? It's not a half. Seven sixteenths. Okay. Should have brought me a socket up here, but I didn't. This is a standard little shoulder bolt. Okay, it's got some signs of wear. put the new one on just slides down there 
put the bolt back in seems to be on there we'll take the new agitator and we're just supposed to push it straight down okay that has no play in it y'all can see that I hope you can it does not move. All right, I, I made a little video. I made a little video earlier of what this thing sounded like. And this is that. That was horrible. Okay, so... Let me stop this camera, move it out of the way. Um, it'll be fine without that. Let me plug it back up. Okay, I'm just gonna start it on a Normal little uh, cycle here. And I'll come back when this thing's filled up and starts turning. We'll do that. Okay, y'all can hear it now. And it's in this little room, so it's gonna ring. But um, that's a whole lot quieter than it was because y'all remember the other video. That's terrible. Now I do have the front door off of it, took the front uh, panel off of it because I was wanting to watch it. It's still a lot quieter and a lot smoother. It's not trying to walk out of the house. stops really quick too so it's still still tight and it may be a little loud because there's no clothes in it so all right so let's come out of the laundry room so anyway, this was how to how to make noises. This is how to change an agitator out in the washing machine, and the other parts can do too. Can be changed out pretty simply. Um, so I'm gonna put a link in the description on where I found the parts for this, and they have a ton of how-to videos how to do this on their site. It's uh, all allapplancepros.com. If I remember correctly, but there'll be a link to it in the description and you can find all kinds of videos and plus YouTube is just a huge help in this too. Um, that's where I actually found where I was having a problem. But um, anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, be notified when I put out another video. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know. Any comments, let me know. And I uh, hope everybody's having a great day and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, real quick, your PSA, your health tip of the day. Uh, if you'll see on my face, I've got a couple of places where I had to go to the dermatologist and had some things frozen off and uh, wasn't an enjoyable time, but uh, what you need to do if you're out in the sun and wind a lot like I am, 
put it on your sunscreen, put it on often, find one that fits your skin type correctly. Um, I have fair skin, so I, I wear pretty, you know, 70 to 100 SPF. But uh, take care of your skin if you're out there so you don't end up looking like you're in a wreck. And uh, that's your health tip of the day.